Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Own Your Own Freedom. If you don't know my content, go ahead and subscribe down below while hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new updates coming down the pike because not only are there new videos, but a whole lot more is coming. If you check out the description box, you'll find a link to my Own Your Own Freedom community on the app called Wix, probably the most convenient way for my viewers to get so much more out of this community. You'll find there once you download the app that I've posted some blogs there, more in-depth, extensive content and advice on navigating this toxic world that we live in by making freedom your lifestyle. You can click on the link to my website, which is coming along nicely. And you'll also see that I'm offering what I call coffee consultations, which are sort of like low key, casual, single or group therapy sessions, but at the fraction of the price. Let me know in the comments if that interests you. I'm still working on the payment processing aspect, but that should be coming along and running uh, very soon. More information to come. You'll also see in the description that on the app, I'm beginning a podcast channel of all the videos I release here so that you can listen on the go. So a whole lot coming. Like I said, let me know in the comments if this interests you, but yo, this is like, you can leave comments on my blog. You can purchase consultations. You can even contact me directly and take and talk to fellow survivors. This is how we get connected and stay connected. Plus, whoever signs up first will get a promo code for 50% off their first coffee consultation. But I digress. With that said, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, this is just a quick video in response to all the uh, current videos uh, of other channels coming out about, oh, um, what to do when the narcissist knows that you know, or what to do when the narcissist thinks you figure them out, like, and all these BS titles. I just want to give you some advice. Um, this In this community, uh, sometimes things can be done just for the sake of clickbait, just for the sake of stirring up an emotional reaction within you so that you'll watch their video. And I don't endorse that at all. There's already enough fear going on within this community about, you know, all these different things that we should be worrying about. And this is not, that's not one of them. And let me give you four reasons why you should not give a damn what the narcissist feels or how the narcissist responds to your healing. That's exactly what this is. They're talking about what, you know, how to respond when you're moving on and you're being healthy and you're making different choices and you're responding to the narcissistic and toxic individuals in your life in a different way and, and when they respond negatively. And let me give you four reasons why you shouldn't give a damn. So first, first of all, um, all narcissists in really know that there's something wrong with them. Let, you, let that just sink in for a second. That's why they have a fear of, of abandonment. And, and that's why they are always so consumed with jealousy of others. And they try to leave you before you leave them. Uh, this is why this is not new. If they respond to you by trying to leave you when they feel like you're responding to them differently. If, if they're trying to say, for example, because narcissists do this, if they're trying to lie to you repeatedly and gaslight you into believing something that isn't true in their relationship and you don't have an emotional response anymore, that means they're not getting fuel from you. And of course, they're going to try to secure another source of supply before they leave you. That's obvious. That doesn't change whether you start, you know, being different or not. Even if you were, you know, still in a state of sort of enmeshment in the relationship and you weren't responding to them in this healthy way, in a way of protecting yourself, uh, that would still be the case. So that's not new. Um, reason number two, anybody in close contact or a relationship with a narcissist should expect them to gaslight you, to lie to you, to divert and, do, and deny and to project their own problems and the problems of the relationship onto you. Like I said, this is not new. This is not new. It's no different if this individual sees you change your behavior or senses you disconnect or protect yourself from them. This is no different. They are going to continue to do the same repetitive cycle of, you know, love bombing you whenever you do what they want them to, 
devaluing you whenever you whenever you stop doing what they want you to do or you don't allow them to control you and then try to discard you when they're done with you or if they've secured another source of supply. So this is not new. All these videos talking about what you should do and how you should respond differently, that's BS. It's not going to change. Your healing is your healing. Number three, you ain't got no business telling these vampires, <laughs> vampires, your business, because that's exactly what your healing is. It is your business. It doesn't matter how they respond. It doesn't matter whether they don't like it or not. You have no business saying to them, well, I know you're a narcissist and I know what, and I know what's going on. You're gaslighting. That is total. You don't need to get into that. Your healing belongs to you. You changing your life and taking your life by the reins and making freedom from all types of toxicity, making freedom your lifestyle is your business. And for anyone who doesn't, who comes against that, they don't belong in your life anyway. You should not care. This is not bragging. You know, you being healthy is not a point to brag about because th that means there's something you're becoming, you're healing from. So let's not go down to that rabbit hole, okay? Number four, the last one. These titles that, they're, that are coming out in this community about what to do and sort of stirring up fear in, the, in, that in, us, in us already because there's already a lot of things we have to worry about. These titles are pure clickbait. They're merely trying to stir up an emotional reaction in you so that you'll watch their video. This is total BS. Do yourself a favor and don't fuel their mess or your own fear and anxiety. Because think about it. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you have to worry about them cheating on you, lying to you, gaslighting you, crazy making around you, manipulating you, changing your reality, making you a shell of a human being. And then when you get out of the relationship, then you have to worry about healing from all of that and getting away from all of that and all the effects of their smear campaigns and their lying and their, and their, and their manipulation and all the things that they did to take your money and your resources and your time and your energy. All of that, you already are full of fear. The goal of this community should be getting you away from fear, making you a victor and not a victim. So don't watch these videos. If you've already watched them, I forgive you. <laughs> but don't watch these videos. Don't feel this anxiety about, you know, how to move on from a narcissist and what, what, if, what if they respond this way? What if they do this? You know, what happens? Nobody gives a damn. Turn it off and watch my videos. So if you like this one, of course, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. I post a video every week, every Friday night, 7 p.m., which is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And leave a comment down below if you can relate to any of this because I'm, I'm pretty sick of it. It's been a, several weeks of these same videos coming out on my, on my YouTube feed. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.